What's up everybody, Tom Pellicero here with Phil Mackey shortly after the Twins lose 5-3 to the Oakland Athletics, wrapping up their third consecutive series loss. Phil, three consecutive games the Twins don't score in the first seven innings. I don't know how often that's happened in modern day baseball, it has to be a rarity. The offense just can't seem, every time it seems like maybe they're going to get a little bit of momentum going, they come right back out and they're flat again. Yeah, they've yet to score more than five runs in a game for the first nine games of the season. They've scored 24 runs over nine games, which is less than three runs per game. And yet, I would say, just based on the nature of, 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 the, of the way this lineup is constructed, one through nine with either Tomy or Kubel coming off the bench, it's not something that they should be overly worried about. It's going to turn just like last year. This is the time of year all the way through May where we talked about the Twins' futility with the bases loaded. And all of a sudden, by the end of the year, they're hitting 300 with the bases loaded because everything tends to turn uh, the way it should. So too early to really start panicking about this offense, but something to at least keep an eye on if they get off to too slow of a start. And the starting pitching, by and large, was good this weekend. You had Carl Pavano training in a very good start on Friday night to keep them around in the game they came back and won. Last night, you get a very good start again from Nick Blackburn, who gives you solid innings. He's probably been their best starting pitcher through only, granted, two times through the rotation. Today, Scott Baker does give up a a couple of home runs, leaves a couple of guys on. Jeff Manship comes in uh, and basically couldn't hit anything with uh, with his fastball. So you just you look at that. You look at it, it's tough to put a whole lot of fault on the pitching staff for the series when they've only got I think five runs in the series of run support. Yeah, extremely low scoring series. And really, you know, you're gonna you're gonna point to Liriano off to a slow start. Baker's allowed four and runs in both of his starts, but pitching is not anywhere near the top of the list for problems right now through the first week and a half. It just you, you, There's so many things you could point to. Um, I will say this though, the Twins have walked, I believe, the sixth most batters or mm -hmm. fifth most batters heading into... Heading uh, into today and they walk five more today. Right, so they're going to be maybe top three in walks issued out, but a lot of those guys haven't scored. The Twins have done a good job of stranding base runners out of that bullpen. That's something, if you if you start walking guys, and the, the Twins were the only team in baseball to hold opponents under 400 walks last season, that will catch up to you if that becomes a trend. About a year ago at this time, I remember standing, not necessarily right in this spot, but somewhere in this general vicinity in mm -hmm. Target Field, in one of these boxes uh, up here in the press box, and saying that the Twins had just beaten the Angels in Anaheim, yep. then they had beaten Chicago, the White Sox down in Chicago, and then they had come home and they had taken two out of three from the Boston Red Sox. I thought that that was an extremely positive sign that they were playing with some of the teams that we thought were going to be playoff contenders and playing very well early on. This year it's kind of the flip side of that, which yeah. is they've lost three consecutive series. They lose one to the Toronto Blue Jays in Toronto. They lose one to the Yankees, which is no shame in Yankee Stadium, losing mm -hmm. two out of three there. But then to come home to play like that, two out of three against the Oakland Athletics, it's disturbing, if nothing else. I'm not saying that it's enough of a sample size to be able to say, you know, as multiple people have pointed out, it's like we're still in the first, this will be the first game of a football season, right. in the grand scheme of things. But it's, it's certainly not a positive sign in any regard. No, you knew they were going to lose two out of three to the Yankees. I mean, I'd say winning one out of three against the Yankees is almost a victory in itself. Um, the Blue Which Jays, is sad, but that's another video entirely. Right, exactly. You know, the, the A's have one of the best pitching staffs in all of baseball. The Blue Jays are a D-League softball team who hit 300 home runs. I mean, it's. I don't think any of what we've seen is surprising. Um, it's, it's just too early to really make any big-time judgments on this team. I would venture to say it's the same thing with the Red Sox, too, off to a terrible start. The roster is talented enough where they're going to make a run offensively, the Twins are, and they're going to keep things together. They're going to turn it around more often than not. A scheduled off day on Monday, much needed for the way that these guys are going right now. Back here on Tuesday for the first of a two-game set against Kansas City. As always, full coverage at 1500ESPN.com. He's Phil. I'm Tom. We'll see you.